All right. A question we get a lot. If you only had $10,000 to invest and you can choose one coin, which one will it be and why? I would say cash because this question is completely wrong. This is horrible investing. Like this kind of thinking is going to get you wrecked. You're going to lose all your money and it's going to zero. You never want to invest anything into one coin, right? So I want to veto this and say, throw this out, throw the baby out with the bathwater for this question and rephrase it to, if you had $10,000 to invest, how would you manage risk while still trying to make money? No matter how smart you are, no matter having the perfect system, you're going to lose all your money doing it this way, right? I'd rather take $10,000 and put it in 10 to 20 coins because putting it all in one coin, you aren't going to, going to do well. The whole rule number one of investing, as mentioned by Warren Buffett, is don't lose money. Rule number two, don't lose money. So if you're putting all your money in one coin and these are DGEN coins, altcoins under a $100 million market cap, or even under a billion dollar FTV, you're going to lose all your money, right? So I would not be doing any of that. But if, if you told me, hey, what projects do I like for 10K? Hey, give me 10 projects for 10K, right? I'm going to put $1,000 in those 10 projects and wait till summer 2025 to hopefully make a 10X or more, I would say maybe 10X minimum on each project and preferably 100X on most of, most of those projects. That's a better question, right? So let's say, let's rephrase it to $10,000 $10, across 10 coins, $1,000 each, basically 10% into each project that we think can do 100X, it goes back to the same list, right? Now I would preface this by saying, you have to be swinging for the fences if you're trying, looking for 100X and you have to be comfortable that you lose all your money. Now, don't cry if you lose your money, right? That's part of investing. Let's go back to investor, investor grade for daily trading volume. I'm actually FTV less than, let's do less than 10, 10 billion for now. I might change that because there, will be, there will, will, will be some large caps here just to manage risk. Then investor grade, we're going to say 60% and higher. And then we're going to say, let's try a certain ratio, one and higher, just to see uh, what we get on the list. You know, let's sort by uh ascending ftv right. yeah so we've got cosmos i like cosmos i think as mentioned i think that's going to be do well next cycle and you have cosmos that they're in, they have adam 2.0 and they're turning their tokenomics to give more utility so bullish on cosmos uh we have phantom here uh but i'm not sure if whether that's one i would be going with right off the bat so i'm going to skip this for now so we're still at, at cosmos if you bullish on ethereum liquid staking uh, even though it's the largest, it's the market leader, sector leader. We've been bullish on this since like over two years, almost three years. Basically, since it launched, we covered this as one of our code review projects and hidden gems. So I think that makes sense. It gets the exposure to Ethereum because it has high correlation with ETH. Anchor, we like Anchor. I'll put that third. Definitely Anchor Network. IDEX, I've covered it before. It gives the exposure to, to basically trading. A DEX, derivatives, perpetual, uh, building on Polygon ZK. Injective, we like. App chain for DeFi. This is basically a blockchain just for DeFi applications and trading. Um, currently at about what seven hundred million dollar FTV. So I'll definitely have that on there. Polygon. We still have Polygon here. All right. So let me, let me just double check. Uh, so Cosmos Adam one, Lido DAO LDO two, Anchor Network three, IDEX ID, IDEX four, Injective INJ five, Polygon Matic six. Uh, Ocean Protocol gives you that data AI play. Ocean, right? Is there a symbol? Seven. Harmony. I'm actually probably going to skip Harmony for now until there's more fundamentals improvement on chain and developers. Because actually, this, I don't think Harmony is even here on this list. Uh, yeah, 25. Yeah, I would, I would opt for a different ecosystem where tech is good. Just, I think they get, give away too much money to the DAOs. I mean, to, to, too much grants to developers and they, they kind of basically. All right, so we were what, what at seven, I believe? Render. Render metaverse computing, AI computing. I would add that honestly. Eight ARPA at a hundred million dollar FTV, Chinese narrative blockchain backed by Binance and Coinbase. I will put that in there as my degen play. I think it's, it's a there's never a safe play, but relative to the valuation, the tech, the fundamentals, and the backers, I will put that in there as a ninth project. I can actually see magic. Let me just take a quick look here and what Magic does. Okay, so it says Treasure is a decentralized gaming ecosystem. So maybe as a gaming play, Treasure or Magic, let me see what the FTB is. Under 300 million? Yeah, I would go with it. Not financial advice. I'm just, I'm just looking purely based on the investor grade. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, so I think Magic, let me just do a quick scan at this. Games and the worlds that delight the masses. Uh, let's see where it's trading. It's on Binance, BitGet. Okay, yeah, I mean, so that's... 
going back to the question earlier, right? 10 projects for 10K on public markets. Those are the ones. So quick recap again, Cosmos, LDO, DAO, Anchor Network, IDEX, Injective, Polygon, Ocean, Render, and Magic. Bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we have even more content for you at Tokyo Metrics. Get there using the link down below.